There's something exciting about getting new clothes to wear, but what if we could do even better and buy apparel that's sustainable too? Woodley Plus Low has a collection of closet staples that are ethically made while making it cute. Co-founders Rachel Tabo and Netta Talavian Funk joins us live to talk about their sustainable fashion brand that's supporting the environment. Ladies, you have a great idea talking about making clothing more eco-conscious, so let's break down some things. Rachel, what is fast fashion and why is it harmful? Thanks, Desiree. Um, one of the biggest things that's harmful about fast fashion is that it really promotes overconsumption. So in the United States, we produce 26 billion pounds of um, fashion waste per year. That's about 82 pounds per person. And the issue with fast fashion is kind of threefold. One, it's so inexpensive that it, it promotes this more is more kind of mentality, um, which we get like you, if you have $40, you've earned babysitting, you want to come out with, you know, five new pieces of clothes that feels really good. Mm. But it, but do you need all five of those clothes is something to think about. Um, the second piece is that they, because they're fast fashion, the whole purpose is to be like hyper trendy. They mm -hmm. want to, they can produce things so fast and produce so many different styles that they want to just kind of cycle you through as fast as possible. So it's, it's something that's not going to last, you know, in a month or two, you're going to be sick of it and then it's going to be waste. And then thirdly, the quality is not there. And so the, the items don't last very long to begin with. So you're throwing them away faster and they're made out of fabrics that don't necessarily break down in landfills or that are not recyclable. And Rachel, how does your brand go against fast fashion and support the environment with sustainable apparel? So at Woodley and Lowe, we wanted to think about um, sustainability in all parts of our business. And as a small business, we're doing as much as we can in each of these categories. So first you have to think about how things are made. So um, using sustainable yarns or eco-friendly yarns wherever possible, um, where it's made, we make everything in Los Angeles, um, how it's delivered to you, we use, uh, we use compostable or recyclable uh, packaging wherever possible. Um, and then the quality, how long something will last. If you have a piece of clothing that you can wear over and over again, that you're going to get a ton of use out of, and it'll last you a year or two, that's more sustainable practice than something that you'll, you'll, that will be garbage in a month or so. And then lastly, um, circularity. What do you do when you're finished with these, your clothes? So we have two things to help support with that. We have an evergreen return policy. So if, if you have a pile of Woodley and Low clothes that you want a new color, or you want a new style or a new size, you can send it back to us and we'll take care of figuring out if it can be donated, if it can be upcycled or resold. And then speaking of that, we also have incorporated in our own website, we have a resale platform. So it's an opportunity for our customers to earn money from the clothes that they've already purchased. So you have a um, green hoodie that you want, that you've loved, and then you decide, well, green's not my color anymore, now purple is. Um, you can resell it on our, on our site to another customer who then comes in and buys a hoodie for a secondhand price and you earn cash or credit towards shopping on our site again. Oh, I like that you have that evergreen return policy and I want to bring Netta into the conversation too. Netta, why is it important to the both of you to promote ethical buying habits to young women? We felt very strongly when starting this business that um, you know, it was important. Sustainability was important to us. We knew it was very important to our customer base. Um, and so, you know, we, we kind of saw a little bit happening with brands focused on millennials really off being transparent and offering sustainability. But when it came to Gen Z and the teen segment, we didn't see this happening. Their options were really just fast fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we knew that for Gen Z, they care more than any other generation about saving our planet. And so, you know, we felt very strongly that building this business with these foundations in place was really important to us and to our customer. Yeah, and it's exciting to know that the younger generation is really making those steps and wanting to be active and making sure they're taking care of the planet. So now to help us out, what tips can you provide to help us create a more sustainable closet? 
Um, I think, you know, really taking the time to edit your closet and figure out, okay, what am I not wearing anymore? And how do I donate this? How do I recycle these? How do I resell some of these items? How do I pass it down? I think for us, we take very much of a buy less, buy better stance when it comes to clothes. So, you know, again, not buying things that we know are not going to last us long and then we have to throw away, um, buying things that we know we can pass down to friends, to siblings. I think those are all really key for keeping a more sustainable closet. Everything in your closet does not have to be made out of, you know, sustainable yarns and recycled, but figuring out ways that you can extend the life cycle of the product is, is really key to reducing our environmental impact. Yeah, and I think it's important that we make sure to do that all year round, even though Earth Day is coming up, we need to make sure that we're making eco-conscious efforts throughout the year. Netta and Rachel, thank you so much for joining us this morning and to keep it cute, comfortable, and socially conscious, you can check out woodleylow.com.